Michelle is still in there staying at this Kelly Inn for two nights. It looks like there's several buildings. It looks pretty big. But this is the registration, so we're gonna go in. So they do have an indoor pool with a hot tub and breakfast and a huge seating area. for two nights. So, I don't need my room clean. Not enough. That bed is so nice. I love it. I love it. I really thought it wasn't going to be this nice. This is a very nice surprise. I didn't have high expectations, but it's been like a while since I've been to West Yellowstone. There's some rough places in West Yellowstone. There is some rough places. Robert found a good hotel. And what? This was like, how much did you spend? Like 200 a night? No, 300 a night. 300 a night? All right, so not the cheapest. No, it's not. 300 a night, but I like it. They have a Holiday Inn that's like 300 a night. So I that. Oh, I like to do this different hotels. Yeah. Good morning. First night in this hotel. The beds are really nice. Uh, the pillows are great. Tons of pillows. I love the little couch to watch TV. Two complaints. One, this is another hotel that does not have a fan in the bathroom. Um, I, I hate hotels that don't have fans in bathrooms. So anytime I'm getting ready, it's going to wake my husband up. Or if someone's in the bathroom, you can hear everything they're doing. And they have this nice ironing board on the back of the door, but there's no padding anywhere. So every time, every time you get that nice noise, very annoying. And then the walls are kind of center. Like I can hear everyone, which luckily it's the end of September. So it's not really the busy season at Yellowstone. The season's winding down. The park's gonna close for the winter in a couple weeks, but seriously, like, if this was height of the season, I think this hotel would be really loud. The walls were just a little too thin. But overall, I like it. 
I'm just telling you a little couple of nitpicky downsides because I'm a little tired <laughs> after hearing people. Well, it's not, there's only like one person, but it just happened to me at the Grand Canyon. I'm on the second floor. There's three floors. There's someone above us who walks all night long. So yeah, it kind of makes it hard to sleep when you hear someone walking back and forth above you all night long. That's all, just me complaining from not having a very good sleep, even though I do like the hotel. All right, the ice machine is right next to the elevator. Tell me why these ice bags are never big enough for the ice buckets. It's such a mystery. We're back at our hotel and I just noticed I do have a laundry room, it's 25 cents. And then you can buy that for a dollar. And they got the heavy duty ones, no shoes or boots. So yeah, this was right next to the ice machine, next to the elevator. And then if you don't mind walking, but here's the stairs. I'm just pointing out the stairs because sometimes it's hard to find where the stairs are in hotels. And I think it's very important for you to know where your staircases always are in the case of a fire. Because you don't want to get into an elevator. You want an omelet? Yeah, yeah. That's fine. It is. Oh, this is hash. You're not gonna like that. You're not gonna like that. Sorry. Do you want? Oh, it's gone. I got biscuits and gravy. Do you like that? I like that, but my husband does not. <laughs> I, it's not bad. I grew up with it. You have to have grown up with it. And I got drinks. Oh, Robert found a Danish. I'll grab you a fork. There's no damn meat. There is no damn meat besides that hash, which is questionable meat. They have sausage and gravy. Mm, yes. You don't want sausage and gravy? I guess now you see why people complain about the breakfast, because yeah, there is no I'm, meat. I'm Take it. I'm right here. Okay. I'm going to go grab you a fork and some napkins, and I didn't get my drink. I don't even know if I'll eat this. All right. This is our last day, this last morning here. We didn't do the free breakfast yesterday. It's 6.30 and 9.30. I did it this morning. Uh, there was no meat besides that hash, and it's been a while, but I think it's like canned ham and potato. It's like a canned meat, so I'm surprised they have no fresh meat. So Robert, uh, when he read about this hotel, because remember he raised everything on TripAdvisor, people did complain that the breakfast was bad. Well, it looked really good to me, but I guess if you are a meat eater and there's no meat, I could see why you would think it's not a good breakfast, but it looks good to me overall. We liked the Kelly Inn. I would recommend it. Um, it's very convenient to the park. So overall, it was a good stay.